speaking of film, uh, film, film crews and cameras, I mean, you, when you made this documentary with uh, Phil Donahue and, and Ellen Spiro, um, you obviously made a decision to kind of allow your life to be exposed, literally and figuratively, um, <laughs> to the world. But talk a bit about that, that decision of you. Was that, have you felt about that and, and, and why you did that? Well, I, I mean, at the very beginning of the process, I was uh, mindful. Uh, I minded my P's and Q's, and, or at least I tried to. Uh, but uh, eventually, as the filming went on, I, I came to the idea that the more uh, the viewer sees uh, about my daily life and uh, what I go through, uh, I hope they'll consider the ramifications and consequences of uh, making rash decisions to enlist out of uh, a certain patriotic feeling, uh, examine the evidence, find out uh, what was going on, uh, as, as I've said before, if I had had uh, Dionne Warwick's psychic friends on a speed dial and she could have told me that uh, uh, what was going to happen, I might not have joined. And likewise, if I had been shot and paralyzed in Afghanistan, where I felt the fight was valid, there would be no body of war. You and I would not be speaking. I would take my government money, go home, and uh, shut the hell up.